Hello, this is Matthew Prewick, Field Service Representative for Labrie Plus. Today we're going to talk about arm maintenance on the Labrie Alligator Zero Radius Arm. The Labrie Alligator Zero Radius Arm has several items which must be inspected weekly to ensure longevity. Please refer to the Labrie Plus Technical Service Bulletin 14-05 for further information. The first item to be inspected will be the slide rollers for adjustment. Check for sway by pushing the arm mast forward and rearward. If the arm sways more than a half an inch in either direction, the slide rollers must be adjusted. There are four external slide rollers for the arm, two of which are adjustable, and two that are non-adjustable. To adjust the slide rollers, turn the roller adjustment nuts inward clockwise until all four side rollers contact the forward and rearward arm slide tube. Ensure that the non-adjustable rollers are making contact with the slide tube. Once roller contact is made with the slide tube, back off adjusting nut one flat. Now you can verify your adjustments by checking sway. Ensure you have no more than a half inch of play. Once sway adjustment has been completed, extend the arm fully, then clean and inspect the arm tube sides and bottom. The roller tracking areas must be free of dirt, grease, and oil, and the roller tracking area must not be worn more than 3 seconds of an inch at its deepest area. The arm slide tube also has two bottom rollers that must be inspected. If any area of the roller track on the slide tube bottom is worn deeper than 3 seconds of an inch, the roller wear plate must be replaced. Verify that both rollers rotate freely and are free of any flat spotting or damage. Lastly, the arm slide tube utilizes a pair of rear rollers. Verify that the rollers rotate freely and are free of any flat spotting or damage. The arm utilizes a pair of stop bumper pads. Check both upper and lower arm stop bumper pads for wear, cracking, or damage, and replace as necessary. With the arm fully retracted, both arm stop bumper pads must be compressed at least one quarter of an inch. The pads may be adjusted by shimmying. Thank you for watching this Labrie how-to video.